Hello. Everybody liked the film. Even Sarah Collier liked it. Even Sarah. Even my grandmother. Is muy gruñona. Yeah, my grandmother. Everybody liked the film. Liked. 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 A todo el mundo le gustó la, la película. Everybody liked the film. Even my grumpy grandmother liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Le gustó. Disfrutó de ello. Lo apreció. Liked it. Liked it. Fijaos cómo lo pronuncio. La D final de liked adquiere pronunciación de T, letra T. Y se enlaza totalmente a it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Everybody liked the film. Even my grumpy gruñona grandmother liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Even my grandmother liked it. Hola, vamos ahora con la frase de hoy. Everyone liked the film, even Sarah Collier liked it. A todos les gustó la película, incluso a Sarah Collier le gustó. Y vamos por la primera parte. Everyone liked. A todos les gustó. Ahora everyone, cuidado con la pronunciación. Everyone, everyone. No decimos everyone, sino everyone. También se puede decir everybody. Da lo mismo. Ahora vamos a ver liked. Verbo regular que termina en T. En la pronunciación fuerte de T. Liked. 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 Everyone liked. No se dice like it. No, es liked. Liked. Vamos con unos ejemplos. I didn't like the beginning of the film, but I liked the ending of the film. Everyone liked the idea. She even said she liked the idea. Everyone liked the dinner. They said it was delicious. Muy bien. Pues nos vemos en un minutito. Hi, welcome to the shop that sells everything you need when you need it. Today I have a really special offer on cinema tickets. That's right, I bet you didn't know that I sell cinema tickets, but I do. And last week I sold 30 tickets to the German film Feder Mocht Es, and everybody liked it. That's right, everybody liked the film. Everyone liked it. Dilo conmigo. Everyone liked it. That's right. Excellent. Everyone liked it. And the week before that, I sold 28 tickets to the film Everyone Liked It, which is an English film. I sold 28 tickets to the film and everybody liked it. April liked it. Zach liked it. Destiny liked it. Everybody liked it. And the week before that, I sold 15 tickets to the Italian film Tutti e Paciuto, and everybody liked it. Frank liked it, I liked it, everybody liked it. And this week I have tickets for the Spanish film A Todos Les Gusto, and everybody's going to like it. Hola otra vez. Ahora vamos al segundo punto. Even Sarah Collier, más bien even, incluso. Ahora, cuidado que no decimos even, sino que es even, even. Y lo usamos para dar énfasis, igual que incluso. Incluso. Por ejemplo, everyone was at the party. Todos estaban en la fiesta. Even my grandmother. Incluso mi abuela. Everyone won a prize. Todos ganaron un premio. Even the dog. Incluso el perro. Ahora, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Incluso el conserje consiguió un ascenso. A ver, vamos allá. Even the janitor got a raise. Otro ejemplo. Everyone took a day off. Even the boss, incluso el jefe. Y aquí tenemos la palabra del día. To take a day off, a day off, un día libre. Y también tenemos la versión negativa, not even, que es ni siquiera. Por ejemplo, nobody knew the answer, not even the teacher. Muy bien, y ahora nos vemos en un minutito. Yesterday I had the best day with my friends. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun that even Sarah Collier enjoyed it. 
Unbelievable. Eso, decimos even Sarah, hasta Sarah, even Sarah. Be careful, we say even Sarah. Repeat with me, even Sarah enjoyed it. Perfect. So, first we went shopping and even the guys bought something. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then everybody came to my house, even Destiny came. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then everybody cooked and I even helped set the table. And you know, I hate setting the table. Anyway, so we had spaghetti and even Zach ate some. And Zach doesn't even like spaghetti. Anyway, afterwards we went to the countryside and even my husband came and he hates the countryside. And after we went to see a film and even Sarah liked it. It was unbelievable. And you know what the best part was? Even I didn't miss shopping. Can you believe it? Even I didn't miss it. <laughs> wow. Hola. Ahora vamos a acabar la frase con el tercer punto. Liked it. Gustó o les gustó. Ahora, ¿recuerdas liked del primer punto? Que era liked liked yesterday I liked aquí lo tenemos con un pronombre it liked it entonces podemos enlazarlo como si fuera una palabra liked it liked it otra vez liked it muy bien ahora cómo se dice en inglés me gustó a ver eso es I liked it I liked it enlazando liked it vamos a ver unos ejemplos I bought my mother a new sweater and she liked it. Ahora, cuidado, que like no es reflexivo en inglés. No decimos it liked me. Uy, no, eso no decimos. Decimos I liked it. Yo, verbo, el objeto. I liked it. Muy bien, otro ejemplo. I'm glad she liked it. Even my father liked the sweater. And he doesn't like sweaters. Muy bien, eso es todo por hoy. Hasta luego. Well, this is incredible. Ever since my art exposition a couple of days ago, I've been getting calls. I've been getting messages. Everyone liked it. Everyone liked my art. In fact, everyone loved it. You know, Professor Pomporra, he bought, he bought three pieces. He really liked my art. He was impressed and he really liked my art. That's right. He liked it. He liked it. He really liked my art. He really liked, eso es, liked my art. Yeah. And even Mr. Orafali, he, he called me to say that he liked my art. Mr. Pilgrim, I got a message from Mr. Pilgrim. He said, look, I really liked your art. I really liked your art and I'd like to buy some as well. That's good. Oh, I also got a phone call from Sarah Collier the other day. She said that she really liked my art. Well, look, I have a message, actually, from Sarah. She said, I liked your art, and I would like to buy a piece. Look at that. She liked my art. Everyone liked my art. It's great. <laughs>